sometimes you just want to know why. What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today's video is kind of in the rumor mill, but I would not be surprised if it was actually true that Sony is working on a thinner PS4 Slim model. Now, why would they be doing this to maybe save on cost to offer the, the PlayStation 4 at a, a much lower price or at least a lower price for consumers and keep the legacy of what they built with the PlayStation 4 going strong? PS4 is really a very phenomenal system when you look at exactly what has happened this generation and how they've, I think they've gotten 50% of the, the gaming mind share this whole generation. So they, they've dominated this, this whole console generation. And I think Sony wants to try to keep that going, especially with the looming release of the Xbox One Scorpio and whatever damage the Nintendo Switch is planning on doing this console generation. I'll drop a link in the description. Sony is working on a thinner PS4 Slim model. Sony is reportedly working on a thinner version of the current PlayStation 4 model. That is according to a Taiwanese reporter at DG Times. In an article regarding Nintendo's year-on sales forecast for the Switch, 20 million consoles shipped by the way, it's offhandedly mentioned that alongside the fact that Microsoft is currently putting the finishing touches on its next console, codenamed Scorpio, Sony is also working on a thinner revision of the current PlayStation 4. It's unclear whether or not this is a slim version of the PS4 Pro or simply another iteration of the existing PS4 Slim SKU. If we were to guess, we'd suspect it'd make more sense for Sony to continue the PS4 Pro line by offering a slightly thinner version and in the process being able to continue a competitive price for the older model. Either way, if the rumor holds any weight, we're likely to see it at E3, possibly as a response to what Microsoft brings to the table with regards to its new console. And of course, PlayStation 4 sales have continued to skyrocket. It's like a train with no brakes. PlayStation 4 sales continue with the same momentum. One thing's for sure, with Sony's success at the minute, uh, with around 56 million consoles sold as of now, it could be a shrewd move to dampen the fever around, around Microsoft by offering up a new revised bundle just before it hit shops. I think that it's very reasonable to think that they would come out with, and I hear the argument already before you make it. Beastly, I just bought the PS4 Pro. I, I'm looking at my PS4 Pro right now. Hi, I see it. The PS4 Pro is a, a great console, and it would feel a little weird if they all, I mean, it just came out in November. Here we are in March. If they were to maybe in June release a slimmed down version of the Pro, some people might, might get upset, some people might not. They'd probably offer it at a, at a cheaper price and make it more affordable for everybody. And I think that'd be a good thing. Now, if it's just a regular PlayStation 4, they slim it down to like a sheet of paper, I think it's going to be crazy. I think it's a waste of effort, time, money. That can be uh, going into other directions, maybe uh, the future with the PlayStation 5. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think that Sony is working on the PlayStation 4 Pro Slim or a Slim Slim model? Of the original PlayStation 4. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it's going to help them when it comes to combating the monstrosity that is the Xbox codename Scorpio? And what are they going to call that thing? I'm, I'm curious as to what they're actually going to call it because they've stuck with the Xbox name. Xbox One was a horrible name and I'm hoping that this is not like a 1.5 or an Xbox Two. It can't be a 2. They're not jumping a full generation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Hitting that thumbs up button, it really helps the channel. Be sure to tell all your friends about the Beastly Gamer channel and share my videos on your favorite social media site. If you make your own content and you have your own thoughts on said content, you can upload it and share it at BeastlyGamer.com. And those videos do go live on this channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.